Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to learn how to create an S3 bucket as well as S3 bucket policy using cloud formation. So let's get started. So first of all, I'll go to Google and search for the S3 cloud formation documentation. Okay. So within this, you can see that this is the type of the resource that creates our Amazon S3 bucket, right? And we have also got the syntax right here, wherein they have mentioned all the required properties, right? But since I want to keep it simple, I won't be using all of them. I'll be just making use of bucket name right here. Okay, so let's go to our yaml template and start creating it right so the first thing that i'll be mentioning is resources and within the resources i'll be mentioning the logical id for my s3 bucket okay within this i'll be mentioning the type as aws s3 bucket which was mentioned in the documentation itself and within the properties i'll be just making use of bucket name okay so for mentioning the bucket name i won't be directly mentioning it right here instead what i'll do is i'll be creating a parameter section and with the help of this i'll be able to take the name of the bucket from the user itself right so within the parameters i'll be mentioning the logical id over here that is my bucket name right and then the type of course is string okay and Within the description, I'll be just entering the or asking the user to enter the bucket name, right? Then after that, we have got default value for that and I'll be giving it as cameo 003, right? It's just a random name since I want it to be unique. I have given this particular name right here. Now after this, I'll be referencing this particular parameter. Okay, that is my bucket name over here. So now we are done creating the S3 bucket. Okay. Now after this, I also want to create an S3 bucket policy. Right. So for this, I'll go to the documentation. And within this, we can see that we have got this particular um, thing as a type that is AWS S3 bucket policy. And within the properties, we have got two different sections wherein we'll be mentioning the bucket name in here and the policy document. So I'll directly go to the examples and grab few scripts from here which are required so what i'll do is i'll take this up to principle yeah so within the resources only i'll be just going and pasting it so basically what you have to do is consider even if you are writing any of the uh, templates for your resources to be created you have to keep in mind is you just need to focus on the things that are required okay and go and search the required templates you will get template available for almost every resource over the documentation right so in this way we can work with it so for the bucket i'll be referencing the name of my bucket that is my s3 bucket okay i'll be referencing it right here and then after that i have got a policy document over here so remember the indentation is also important whenever you are working with the yaml templates right so 
always confirm the indentation whenever you are writing any of the code right so within the policy document i have got version which is 2012 10 17 and i have got a statement within which i will be mentioning the action i'll keep this as it is for effect it's allow and for the resource i'll be passing the arn right so over here i'll be mentioning the logical id of my this s3 bucket okay so i'll just keep it over here i can also refer it but yeah it's okay both the ways are right okay so you can either reference it with the help of colon or you can also keep it with exclamation so it totally depends upon you i'll be just saving this template and going to the cloud formation stack okay and be i'll be creating a stack first of all since my template is ready upload a template file from over here and next and for the stack name i'll be mentioning it as my stack okay and next and again the next i'll be keeping everything as it is and submit now you can see that it is creating my s3 bucket now my bucket got created over here now you can see that everything got created successfully right so there is one more property within our um, not a property but a functionality i would say within our s3 bucket wherein we can also mention the deletion policy over here right with the help of which even if we delete the stack our s3 bucket won't be deleted so in that if you want to retain this particular resource then you can make use of deletion policy as well so in this way we created an s3 bucket as well as s3 bucket policy with the help of cloud formation right so hope you found the video helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel if you found the videos helpful also don't forget to press that bell icon for the latest updates thank you so much have a nice day